Hi, this is Will Gray 42 Now, before I start this test, I just want to say that I am so honored and I feel so much love from all of you. I was expecting maybe 10, maybe 15 people going, yeah, yeah, I'd like to be an addict, right? But my email has been swamped with messages from so many people and so many people commented on the last video when I was talking about hey I'm gonna do this test that I've decided that I'm not going to make it a private video uh, because I'd have to be sitting there going okay let this person have it and this person have it and this person have it and this person have it there's just so many people who want to do this that I'm just going to make it a public video and uh, I just want to say again, thank you. That was really awesome of all of you. And I'm glad to know that what I am doing is making so many people happy that they would like to be a part of this as well. So, thank you. Now, let's get down to business. All righty then. Here's the test. What is the difference between a danger zone and an attack zone? What does your danger zone have in common with your opponent's attack zone? Give one advantage and one disadvantage of fighting purely defensive. Give one advantage and one disadvantage of fighting purely offensive. Give one advantage and one disadvantage of fighting someone who is using a longer weapon than you. Give one advantage and one disadvantage of fighting someone who has a weapon who, that is shorter than yours. If you use a seven, what are you blocking? How do drills truly work? What are the five pillars? And then, one by one, what do they mean to you? Why are the five pillars important? Lady Squee of Grey is fighting a brand new person who's just coming in. Instead of just walloping the heck out of him, so that he realizes how much he needs to actually learn, she chooses to slow herself down and fight at his level. Which pillars is she using for that scenario? In my storyline, when each person enters the world, they are given a choice. Why do I do that? Here's an extra credit question. I don't expect many people to get this. A few will. Now, if you can help it, try not to cheat and just Google the name and find out. In my storyline, the paladin's name is Orion Pax. What is this a reference to? If you were to become a Knight of Grey, what would your knight name be? For example, Lady Squee. Squee is a word for her that means a happy squeak. It's squee! You know, and that is what she tries to represent as a knight. That's her forte. Right? Thus, she is Lady Squee. Sir Ansel, the word Ansel means sacred shield. All right? Now, people such as uh, Mike uh, just use Sir Michael of Grey. Some people just use Sir Dan of Grey. Uh, me personally, I use both. My name is William, legally, and I go by Will. And it means that, but it also means Will, like mind over matter, your force of will. That is my night name. What would be yours? What is the point of the Knights of Grey? Here's a fun one. What do I teach? In what other aspects can you use what I 
have handed out besides Boffer Fighting? Is being a Knight of Grey what you are or who you are? When dealing with an opponent that has a high level of aggression, what would be the most logical tactic? What is the strike that you cannot block? And bearing that in mind, what is the best position to be in when in any confrontation? Why do you want to be a Knight of Grey? Well, people, that's the test. I know that you were probably expecting more in some ways and expecting less in others. But, as the universe usually does, surprise! It's coming at you this way. Now, I know this sounds like a, re a reasonably easy test. And overall it is. I am not one of those people who are like, you have to have the exact answer that I'm looking for, or else. And it doesn't work for me that way. What I'm really interested in here is how well you can obtain the information and how you can apply it to whatever. So, good luck to anybody who chooses to take this test. Now, the, whew, I'm getting beat. <laughs> yeah. Now, I'd like to thank everyone for taking the time to watch this video and take this test. I wish everyone luck and uh, I hope everybody passes. I really do. Um, you can leave comments here, but do not leave your answers here. There's too many questions to leave a comment like that. What you'll have to do is you'll actually have to uh, write me a letter and put it in. And I will leave comments on this video naming off people as they pass the test. So you may have to come back and you may have to look again. You never know. I will also try to make a point to uh, send a message to each person as they pass. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Love what you do. Love. It's what you do.